here is a case of supine pcnl when while doing the dilatation renal pelvis has got perforated due to overshooting 46 year old female patient complaining of right line pain one week ct kub 16 mm noted in the lower pole of the right kidney anterior calyx lower pole anterior deep very close to the medial wall of the kidney medially located calyx quite anterior is difficult case we attempted rirs we uh, felt that in rirs this stone may be difficult to reach because of the anterior medial impacted stone almost it behaves like diverticular stone only tip of the stone is seen like this anteriorly basketing attempted but uh, was not possible so at this stage uh, if we have done uh, puncture and then passed the guide wire under vision might have been better but uh, because we thought we will do rirs by the time we changed the position some amount of redness has come in the uh, flexible scopy so we have done attempted supine pcnl here we are attempting uh, the basketing failed it looks simple in two dimensional view but in three dimensional it is anterior located calyx now the stone is clearly seen one attempt failed because it's impacted and anterior two attempts failed third attempt failed and i understood that the stone is so medial and anterior i hit the stone and then fourth attempt failed fifth attempt i pressed the stone by the time i pressed on the stone so that i will get some space the guide wire has gone and stone moved out of the calyx in fact i could feel that the stone moved out of the calyx into the renal pelvis at this level if we had good vision in the rirs it might have been very good but the rirs surgeon could not see and uh, when we entered with nephroscope the vision was not there so i thought i am under dilated so i have dilated little more because i could not see the stone and uh, i tried to follow the guide wire it has stone is not seen see here the guide wire is ending here i thought i still not entered the calyx probably here i might have entered and i might have come back i was only going forward and seeing so i could not uh, get the stone and get, get any clue i was thinking that because the guide wire i am not able to go then i pushed the alken rod single step dilatation i have done at this stage an rgp might have clearly shown where i am in relation to the pelvis that is the uh, mistake i have done then slightly uh, more medial uh, it was there and by the time i went in again i thought i am not there in the calyx but i came out and realized that i am uh, having the uh, mucosa beyond that that means i have perforated somewhere so it's a overshooting there is no significant bleeding then i have seen the haziness was there and uh, i adjusted but the problem is every time the stone is going into the perforation if you don't remove the stone in difficult cases it becomes uh, difficult so i went into the upper calyx in supine pcnl going into the upper calyx is easy problem in this case is pelvis was not at all dilated rgp might have been done we depended on the stone guided puncture we have not given much importance to the rgp the small renal pelvis then i moved the stone into the upper calyx that was difficult because the space between the infundibulum and the every time the tissue around the stone was looking as if i am outside tissue and it is slipping back into the same space had difficult time and ultimately uh, with a good forceps uh, i moved the stone into the upper calyx there also because of the fat lay because of the one a uh, bloody layer around the stone it was not well visualized in the upper calyx also but after doubly confirming that i pushed the stone in the upper calyx then i started using the laser because one more perforation with pneumatic leptotripsy cannot be of cannot be done here the problem is uh, all the uh, uh, loose tissue 
around the stone it made it difficult to identify the all surface of the stone and then designer cut is given exactly in the center and then i thought it will come in two pieces had it come in two pieces it might have been really good but that also did not happen because the infundibulum was uh, narrow i have gone through the anterior uh, inferior calyx this when it did not come out it is really problematic to relocate that but somehow relocated and then taken the pneumatic lithotripter and broken it more smaller pieces with this less vision stone free rate will come down so ultimately continuously keeping an eye on the stone where it is moving we have made into the pieces uh, overall uh, unpleasant scene while breaking because the vision was not good flushing from below cannot be done because perforation will get uh, extravasation taking all these factors less water was used that's why vision is less ultimately these pieces are removed one by one ultimately we could see these stones in the upper calyx only as long as i am manipulating in the upper calyx i was comfortable anywhere if i come below the headwear is there through the pelvis pelvis is not injured pelvirotric junction is not injured but significant size rent was there which on nephrostogram has shown leak like this patient was kept on nephrostomy for 5 days and uh, then uh, nephrostomy removed patient did post op till well ultrasound showed no stones carefully all the residual uh, all the broken stones are removed and ultimately patient recovered well thank you